That's, sorry, that's my bong. No Ranveer, not right now. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's of Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, more juicy content. Instagram, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter. Five cents was an Instagram. So today we got a, um, uh, we've done one of these, I think it was with Shah Rukh Khan. It was the AIB podcast with Shah Rukh Khan. I think you remember that one, right? I do. Yeah. So this one's with Renbir Kapoor. Uh, and so after we did the, the, Renbeer answers questions from fans. Got tons and tons of requests for, for us to react to this. This one on YouTube itself is in two parts. So that's how I'm going to do it. Okay. So it's got a 25 minutes and then there's a 20 minute one after this one. Um, so on YouTube, what you're going to see, this is going to be part one. And then once the video stopped, we're going to stop this video. And then we will start another video and that will be part two. And then I will release them subsequently. Um, and so just so you guys are aware, that's how they have it on YouTube. And just for longer videos, it's better to put them in two parts usually. So, um, anyways, let's just, uh, we, we really enjoyed him answering fans questions. And a lot of people said this one goes a little more, more into depth of him and his craft and stuff like that. So I'm just clarifying something that you sent to me. Mine, my, the video I have says part two. I sent you two. So go to your, go to your text. Aha, so very glad I looked. Made sure that without looking at them, doing the right thing. Yeah, go, go, ahead and, go ahead and open both of them already. <laughs> All right, got it. Ready to go. All right, ready? Three, yeah, man, yeah. two, one. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app. And never miss another All India Bakcho from All India Bakcho. All India Bakcho. All India Bakcho. Hello and welcome to the Happy Podcast. Come on, say hello. Hi. Uh, we are uh, we are doing a new podcast today, guys. And our guest today hmm. uh, comes from the family of Prithvi Raj Kapoor. Right. Uh, Raj Kapoor. Uh, Rishi Kapoor, Correct. Randhi Kapoor, Karina Kapoor, uh, and uh, Krishma Kapoor. How come you mentioned Randhir Kapoor of all people? As is them, Vicky Peter. Yeah, yeah. My, my, my question But to what you, about like Shami Kapoor and Shashi Kapoor? Shami Kapoor, Shashi Kapoor. Shashi Kapoor. Shashi Kapoor. Yeah. My question to you, Ranbir, is do you believe uh, nepotism exists in. <laughs> you know, I'm a disarming <laughs> product of it. <laughs> do you? Uh, of course it exists, man. I mean, I'm sitting here next to you. It'll be tough for you to say no. Yeah. It would, yeah. Be, it would be awkward. Yeah, see, I have a simple uh, take on nepotism. Um, I believe that my great grandfather worked really hard to give his children a platform, and so on and so forth. And also Chambur a platform. And yeah. yes, <laughs> and <laughs> yes, the only person. Yes. Yes. All of that together. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So yeah, I mean, I'm, 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 I became an actor because of my family because I got the opportunities, and uh, uh, so the thing is that you don't really get credit for your success. Because everyone just looks down upon your success, no? They are like, ah, yeah, they're It's taken you exactly. It has taken you exactly 45 seconds to start complaining about how amazing your life is. Wow, 45 seconds, guys. New record on the Happy Podcast. Quickest victim hood on. Yeah. Very nice. You were just like you're saying the right things and then. Yeah. No, that's not true. I mean, you are you are widely regarded as as one of the best actors. No, I mean, see, this is my prototype answer for nepotism. Yeah, sure. Staple answer. Staple answer. अच्छा रटा लगा रटा लगा. But then when people say that it doesn't exist, do you look at like them and go like? Do you call them and say hello? See, the thing is, it's very simple. I believe that every actor which talks about anything serious is pointless, because people don't take what actors say that seriously. It is just for effect and it's show business and it's, you know, it's... it's <coughs> Amitabh. <it's laughs> yeah. Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you mention his name? <laughs> well, yeah. It's for point. To yeah. Pain, okay, listen. must be. But I feel that all this, like, if a, uh, if a star kid is talking about nepotism, yeah. it doesn't matter what he says, man. Yeah, mm, fair. Fair, fair, fair. 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 Yeah. Um, good save. Good, good save. Good save. Good save. Yeah. 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 First complain and then say, but guys, my answer doesn't matter, guys. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> I'm a big promoter of the film. Thank you, man. Yeah. 
So it's helping a lot. We the know. The thing is, it has taken so it's long. Helping a lot. That if the trailer hadn't been amazing, amazing. yeah, yeah. Like, 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 the shooting jaga sab ka char oh, I, I, I used to lie like i when i am shooting for jaga in the last 2 years i used to lie about some other film i never said i was shooting for jaga because people used to ask me the same question and i can't really defend the film all the time so i should say no i'm shooting uh, tamasha patchwork i'm doing like bombay velvet yeah. ka promotion it's one of those na, like when you get divorced it's like where's your wife oh she's busy yeah. she's yeah was that coming from me. the market just she's has a new catering business <laughs> Yeah. Uh, What's his process like though that it takes him this because Barfi also years. took because I remember you worked on film fair when you were doing Barfi yeah. and that also it felt like two film fairs yeah. happened, yeah, 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 happened yeah. before yeah. it came. So yeah. what is his process? I mean it's 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 disorganized chaos. You know, okay. there is no AD system, there's no script, there's no schedule. Uh, he'll cancel us a 40 day schedule on the third day because he feels that it's not working. Like when Barfi started, uh, the character that I was playing was supposed to be very intense and serious. Mm -hmm. After 10 days he suddenly comes to me and says, Maza nahi aara yaar. You know, you're both uh, uh, serious film Mori, let's try and make it more fun. And that's when the chaplain and all started coming mm -hmm. in. So that's how he is. See, the thing is that now Barfi was successful, mm -hmm. so we forgive that process. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if Jagga Jasus doesn't work, <laughs> I don't think it can be this process can be forgiven because it's irresponsible. Yeah. You know, for other people's time, <laughs> money, for other producers waiting for You're you. You're also producing this time. Yeah. 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 Big mistake, <laughs> first and last time. Yeah. Uh, and wrong person to produce a film with, you know, because you have no control <laughs> and it just makes you feel useless. Hmm. You know, because he's running the production, he's running everything. I'm not sure if you're promoting yeah. the film that great yeah. if you said, yeah, script me. Pehle dos din aise hi I don't know if film is... <laughs> yeah, because the thing is, I can't take credit for anything this film has. Same with Barfi, because when I saw Barfi a week before, hmm. I was shocked. Hmm. I didn't expect it to be good, or I didn't expect myself to be good. So, I'm expecting the same to happen with this one also. <laughs> you know, see, Basu's process, the, the, the two different processes. Hmm. Because his music and his CG and all this completely changes the film. Hmm. Uh, so, I'm very happy. I'm very happy that I produced this film. Hmm. I don't know much about me acting in the film, but like if I'm good or not. But I think uh, I'm happy to produce a film like this in India. But yeah. actually, how was that like? Because when Bombay went, the whole fucking brouhaha was happening. How do you go from that to going on set saying, holy shit, ye karna bhi hai, but fuck all bhi lag hai. Oh fuck, mera hai paisa lag hai iske upar. No, no, how it, does that process That work? period was very hard, yeah. Because, mm. you know, see, to be honest, I never like, uh, I never felt success. At the same time, I never felt failure. But especially during Bombay Velvet, like messages didn't stop for at least a month, you know, and they were condolence messages, you know, like we are with you. So after a week, I got scared, you know. Then I asked, I remember asking Katrina, I was like, listen, am I that badly screwed? Because I'm finding it's fine. Flip but you had your moment of fuck, yeah. what the fuck yeah, is happening? Yeah, of course, yeah. you know, then Amir Khan's coming to my house, Karan Johar's coming to my house. <laughs> <laughs> no, the second yeah. Amir Khan comes, yeah. you know, in yeah. serious. It's so all so candlelight must be. Like, 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 there is an extra hug of 30 seconds, you know? so you're finding all this weird, you know, like what is happening. Uh, but to be honest, like, you know, I'm very spoiled also because of the kind of people I'm working with. Mm -hmm. So I'm not taking that pressure, ke, you know, I'm screwed. You mm -hmm. know, I'm, I'm very happy with the kind of work. And if I fail, uh, I still have some opportunities. I'll still try. But it has never come to a point saying that, oh, I'm really fucked now what's going to mm -hmm. happen. You know, thankfully that's what happened to me. But this happened back to back. So Velvet happened, yeah. and then when Adil happened, then everybody come came home again saying, "I'm sorry about the whole Fawad." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, man. Did you ever call Fawad and say, "Man, so why the fuck were you with this movie?" <laughs> this uh, not at all. I I love Fawad as an actor. I love his contribution in the film. And I remember before the release, there were all these Fox meetings about what should we do, Fawad, and you know, yeah. ye ho raha hai, and you know, everyone was coming out of anger and uh -huh. all. But listen, this is talent, man. This is art, you know. Mm. And there is no politics, and there is no. It's, he's not done anything. We've not done anything. You know. Not saying like you like felt like a vendetta, <laughs> but like before going yeah. to bed at three o'clock in the morning for one second, come into queue. Like, did you think that? Like for one, it's okay. Aray, it was really fun when like, we did the Hindi medium. Se pehle hum Irfan sir's podcast kar rahe the. It was really funny. I was like, kuch aaya nahi kya? Co-actor Pakistan thing. But I am not a viewer. Raiz can be the other. We are. I remember a week before release, like people were really considering. I mean. Telling Karan very seriously, just reshoot his portion. Now, people don't understand filmmaking takes time. <laughs> and even that yeah. portion has taken like three, four months. Mm. So people say, no, reshoot it. But it's fine, nothing happened. You know, he's oh, a yeah. great talent. And I think his contribution is also huge. He's got a huge fan following, irrespective mm. of the political climate. Mm. And uh, yeah, I never felt like, you know, mm. like he fed us over anything.
Do you feel like the less hotter person in the room while he's there? For sure, <laughs> and especially Karan. Karan's obsessed with him, you know. Yeah. Like you have no idea the kind of love he feels for him, you know. And yeah. like suddenly when he was on set, me and Anushka were pushed aside, and suddenly he's giving him direction, <laughs> and suddenly she turned to me and Anushka. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. But with Fawad, he was giving him layers and you know, <laughs> like his costume was being worked on yeah. and his beard was <laughs> just trimmed this side. <laughs> his hair a little bit more body, you know, all that shit was happening. That was the 10 minute role. Yeah, that's You were badly treated on the film. But you are, of course, now doing uh, promotions. We are the first in line today, thankfully. Yes. Because the ne rest of the day is going to be. How was it working with Katrina after a breakup? Yes. 11 times over. Yes. Yeah. How, what is the worst? Like, is it annoying to deal with the media after the point? Uh, it used to be. Now I'm actually having fun with it, you know, because uh, I don't care that much anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, at one point I, I used to care what I'll say, you know, wh how my words are going to get misconstrued, uh, what people are going to take from it. But now I've realized, irrespective of what I say, it, I am going to get misconstrued. Correct. So, you know, just yeah. don't care about it. Uh, yeah, the questions I'm asked all the time is about Katrina and how's it working with her, nepotism, yeah. uh, about my flops. Mm. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm still talking about Bombay Velvet and yeah. Beisharam and Roy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, thankfully they asked me a lot about Sanjay Dutt now, the biopic. Uh, uh, so at least something about my work uh. and about my dad's tweets. You know, these are like. <laughs> <laughs> on our channel, we'll talk yeah. to you about <laughs> art. <laughs> 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 and why am I not on social media? You know, yeah. these are the prototype questions I answer every time. And I try and you know make a new screenplay out of things. You know, <laughs> new answers. But Guma <laughs> Pirak, it comes back it to the honest truth. Ke what it is, you know. Hmm. Because see, our process, all journalists and ours also is. Pehle Wikipedia padho. <laughs> Ki headline do no. Strangely, strangely, Wikipedia has Shah Rukh Khan headlining Jagah Jasus. I don't know why. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Like I was asked this question in Abu Dhabi yesterday, that Shah Rukh Khan in the film. And You're right, too. No, 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 no. Because today, oh, just I just looked up Jagah Jasus, like on not even yeah. like just the Google search for Jagah Jasus. His, you know, those Google characters, yeah, credits yeah, yeah. that come. Shah Rukh's the first thing that pops yeah. up. I think also. because Shah Rukh was yeah, in tube light now, it is assumed that Shah Rukh's side me does bara pichar kar lete hain ek ek scene ke liye. Okay, so now we have to do something different now. Because the pressure is on us. So we have to go somewhere else. God damn it. Okay. I just like killed six questions of yours. Yeah, man. We have to bold bold and keep it up. Now in one hour it will happen. We thought we were being original. Cringiest thing you've done for love. Cringiest? Cringiest thing you've done for love or to get laid. We will go across the room so we can think of it. I remember this was in the seventh grade. So you know at that time the big thing was the terrace party in someone's building. Where everyone comes together and you know there's biryani made and you know mixed tapes and you know. Out of like eight of your friends, you're the only person who's dating someone, so you're the hero. You know, <laughs> you're dating friends. You're dating someone in seventh grade. Yeah, yeah, I was like in love in the seventh grade. Oh uh, shit. So I remember at that time, a woman used to tell me that if I, in the se she was also in the seventh grade, if I don't cry, I'm not mature. Like only if you cry, you're mature. Otherwise, you're immature. Hmm. So I didn't get that. So I remember we were, we were on the ledge, and I hadn't even held her hand. Like I was so shy, I used to make my best friend call her on conference so I could talk to her. <coughs> like yes. I, I didn't have game to like call her and say, hey, what's up. So I remember at that time I didn't hold her hand and she's crying and she's saying, I don't know why I'm doing this and I don't know what she was saying. And then the most cliche way, I, I was like this on the ledge, I looked at her, I gave her my hand and said, now do you trust me? Oh wow! Oh. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> that was so <laughs> cheesy, but she wow. fell for it, man. Is, is I dos, kissed that is day. Is two you had another first yeah. kiss? First kiss, seventh grade. Nice. Seven One day. is that seventh we have done flames wins. Not this. Not this. Third. Sad things about terrace party. That is our cool party now. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool yeah. Party. yeah. That's yeah. Exactly. I don't want to do bars yeah. anymore. Sad this, sad this. Yeah. Cringe, exactly. cringiest thing to get laid or or in love. Cringiest thing in love. I can't think of anything particularly cringy, but I do remember that in all my attitude, at the age of 15, I got into a long distance relation. <laughs> oh, wow. At the tender age That's of mature, 15. That's mature, bro. Very nice. mature. So, yeah. all the emotions, none of the yeah. this thing. Yeah. So, it's great. And I remember I had the this thing of being 15 before mobile. So, what I used to do, I used to lie to my mom, say, I'm going for a walk for my health, or I was in STD booth. Pe khada tha. Huh. Or, and I used to do, I think, like, night was cheaper. Hmm. Right, STD. Oh, so I used to stand, used to talk, looking at that ticker <laughs> over there. And the second it got to twenty rupees, <laughs> <laughs> nice. done. Is it weird? Like, so we're all we're all fans of literature. Okay, yeah. we're all yeah. very we're all literature. Yeah, well read. Well read. Well read. Okay. Well read people. Readers. Like one of Rowan's favorite uh, books to read is uh, Blind Items. Uh, <laughs> by Blind Items. By Rajiv. Love it. Rajiv. Love Can't. It. Have you? Are love you it. seem like a fan of Blind Items? Are you? Do you read Blind Items? Of course I do. Because what happens is, uh, uh, nine out of those ten blind items, people think they are me. Like <laughs> of all those blind items. Kuch bhi. Matlab, if it's like. If it's about two girls, also people will think that it's me disguised as a the young actress who married the son in the film financial yes. in this paper. So, <laughs> so, I've actually been asked, you know, yeah. like stuff which I'm, it's not been true. Uh, but blind items is like really the scum of the earth. 
you know, I can understand when you hide behind a source and a question mark and you give names. Yeah. But blind items, I mean, you're so much that you can't even say that because you know it's coming from, it's, it's all a lie. Hmm. Sorry, uh, Rajiv. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, I've, I've messaged Rajiv many a times because hmm. sometimes it's very clearly implied that it's me. Hmm. Like once there was a blind item about this, this new star kid who, who has a red sports car who uh, was caught uh, 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 outside reclamation buying drugs uh, and then he called a builder friend to bail him out who paid 25 lakhs of rupees. Hmm. A, I sold my red <laughs> sports car long bag. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> do, you, do you feel weird when you see uh, your family or loved ones written about? Because you are quite, you are at my, the center my, of, um, of the... An ad popped up. Tell me what you're at. Twelve five zero, twelve fifty. Hold on. All right, ready? Three. Sorry, that that didn't show up in the feed for me to try to skip. No worries. Three, two, one. I sold my red sports car long bag. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> do you do you feel weird when you see uh, your family or loved ones written about? Because you are quite you're at the center of of the industry. Is it weird to constantly see gossip about you and family all the time? There is no gossip about my family. Like I know that people, what I find really weird is when they get my parents uh, involved about my relationship. Like my mm. mother's disapproving or my father said this, my mother's giving, getting some arranged marriage fixed in London. Mm. You know, that's, that's what pisses me off, you know, because I think my dad and my mom have worked hard enough to kind of garner some respect mm. uh, in their life. Mm. And it's it's not worth it, you know, not, not to like drag them, right? This, Whatever you want about me, but not them. Is the gossip ever true about anyone? It, it must be a it's not, be a It's gossip. not anymore. You know, kya hai ki also because of paparazzi, social network, and... Uh, I love uh, that you said it, social network. <laughs> That's when you know you're, <laughs> you're not, not, not on social, social media. media. Okay, yeah. sosh, uh, oil media, sab ki phad hai. Hmm. So people are not doing shit. Hmm. People are not having affairs, people are not doing masti. So now, you need to fill pages, no? So people are Correct. making up shit. Uh, so, currently, everything that's written, most of it is untrue. I don't know whether you're being naive or you're covering for your friends because people are not having affairs. Yes, yeah, yeah, like no. Affairs have ceased to exist. It has, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's, it's, it's strange. Like, people are really just going to work, coming back home. They're not going out. Oh, people yeah. don't know, like, you mean not in the red card buying drugs and <laughs> calling, <laughs> a <bit> <laughs> yeah. Lacks, calling a bit? <laughs> Big difference between being single mid 20s, being single mid 30s. See, the thing is, I've never been single in my life. Since the age of 13, in the 7th uh, grade, seventh grade, till now, uh, like last year, I've always been in a relationship. It was the first time I've, I'm actually single. Hmm. And uh, it's amazing, you know, you have a lot of time for yourself. And uh, yeah. I Are mean, you mingling? Does the, does the fame help? Like it helps at, at our level. <laughs> yes. so I can't even imagine it. Am I mingling as in I'm taking advantage of... Not uh, taking advantage. Are you meeting... But you should. Sure I'm not. The What's the point yeah. of being single? The thing is I'm not. Uh, I'm not meeting anybody. Uh, you know, the only people you meet are the film industry people and eventually the only people you start talking to are actresses. Hmm. You know? Um, Aren't you tired of dating actresses? No. Not that. <laughs> you can never be tired of dating actresses. But I'm not meeting people. You know, and I feel that, you know, I should. No, I've been told there are like quite a few people who use my picture on Tinder, so I might as well I should come on Tinder, right? It's double jeopardy, so. Don't, yeah. not By the way, now they've Tinder. started verifying, yeah, yeah. even on Tinder. Yeah. Yeah. But how you do they know? You can get a verified profile. Really? Yeah. You sure. know, when 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 I went through a breakup, I used to listen to Channa Mehra. <laughs> how the fuck do you deal with sadness? <laughs> when listening to Channa Mehra. <laughs> I don't channa. listen. I perform to Channa Mehra. <laughs> oh man, do you think people are nice to you because you're famous? Is that ever a worry that you're surrounding yourself with yes men? Of course, but the thing is that I'm not a people person so I don't really meet a lot of people. I'm quite isolated in my life. Hmm. Uh, I have a bunch of friends who I'm always hanging out with. So I'm not around many people, you know, so I don't have yes men. Or who do you call for no bullshit answers? Ayan and Katrina. Katrina is quite frank with me. She doesn't take any of your shit. Yeah. Which I mean, we saw recently Rachel when you were speaking yeah. over yeah. her in the interview. She's just like, yeah. what the fuck is this guy? Some of the world's it's most apparently spectacular called, eye rolls. It's called mansplaining. And apparently yeah. BuzzFeed wrote some article which she was very happy about. Because <laughs> it was dissing me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But was, is that true? Does that exist? Yes. Mansplaining as a term, yeah. as a concept yeah, exists. exists. Okay. Where, yes. where a man talks down condescendingly to a woman about something very basic. Which okay. she which probably knows. Which she probably knows. Or it's assumed that she okay, knows. So can I explain myself on this thing? You can. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. This yeah. is not called mansplaining, right? This is, uh, yeah. This is no, 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 no. This okay. is not mansplaining. This is where all So, th these were the first round of interviews that me and Katrina were doing. Huh. And it takes time to kind of, you know, get your answers and your rhythm of like what the character is, what the film is. 
Now, when she was talking, I thought she was drifting because uh -huh. she was getting bored at the <laughs> interview. So I thought, okay, sure, this is a good time for me to take over because yeah. I've seen the film, I know the film, I'm the producer of the film. <laughs> Let me talk about her character. Mm. And that's, I came from that intention. Mm. But, okay. But is it is fixed. But uh, is, the, is Katrina mad? Is the uh, no, she was very working? happy. You know, oh, she was very happy because you were getting All right. Interesting. Mm. But. Still mansplaining. Still mansplaining. <laughs> 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 this is okay. why you're not on social media, which is fair. <laughs> this is a work related question. Okay. And be how many times more are you gonna uh, go how many times do you have to see on screen, go on a journey of self, self fucking discovery, discovery last. and find yourself? This is the last of my coming of age film. I ain't walking out of marriages with bags and like with tears in my eyes. <laughs> I'm not coming of age in movies. Uh, I'm done with it, man. Uh, Maybe these were the parts which I connected with all these years, you know, and these were the parts that were offered to me which were nice. Yeah. Or this the is characters. what your friends were writing. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, pretty much. Basically, <laughs> yeah, but I'm done with like this, you know, I mean, I don't need a woman to remind me that my work sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and I need to find another job. And, uh, Script man split. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not being selfish about like following my dreams and then eventually realizing, no, my dream is the woman. <laughs> I'm done with it. Actually, that Tamasha was a very interesting experience sir, because I was watching it, I had gone with some friends and True story, okay? I, uh, being very real, real, I didn't connect with the movie. And there was a guy next to me who was crying, okay? <laughs> so, I just had that moment of realization, oh, I already do what yeah, I love. love. <laughs> so, I'm good. Yeah. And that guy like, fuck, I'm an accountant. <laughs> <I'm screwed. laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to be See, Yeah, so I think Tamasha, the intention was to kind of give you a, a reminder and a warm hug. Hmm. Not to like show, fucker, do what you do, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Right. It eventually went there. Um, yeah, like my dad hasn't seen Tamasha. Okay. Like he refuses to see it. Um, when my dad saw Rockstar, he called me after the film and said, "Wo end pe jab nargis aati hai, wo koma se nikal ke aayi hai ki wo wo uska bhoot hai." You know, so he doesn't like me doing all these hmm. esoteric films. I don't think they're esoteric, hmm. uh, but for him, he regards them as es esoteric. Wake Up Sid was also actually a good Bombay movie, one of the few good Bombay movies. Yeah, Mumbai. Mumbai movies. Excuse Wake me. Up Sid was one of the few good Mumbai movies. Wake Up Sid was definitely a Mumbai, Mumbai movie. movie. Yes. Yeah, it was, it was. My favorite, of course, because totally not biased here was Rocket Singh. Rocket Singh. Yeah, because Rocket Singh was best. Yeah. I, you uh, must yeah. get... It was, one of, those, it was one of those movies where uh, my parents said, uh, Baal Kyu Katwai. <laughs> <laughs> You were Sardar? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So it was one of those, hmm, they can do it. So you were a representative. Did you, what did you feel after Rocket Singh? If, when it didn't do See, the thing is, <coughs> Rocket Singh was what, my third or fourth release, and I thought I had a Munna Bhai. Like, ah, I'm going yeah. to kill it. Hmm. So what happened is that year, uh, August, Wake Up Sid released, October was uh, Ajab Prem Ki Gazab hmm. Kahani, hmm. and December was Rocket Singh. Hmm. So I thought Wake Up Sid is going to change Indian cinema. <laughs> Ajab Prem Ki Gazab Kahani is going to be a disaster and my career is going to get screwed. But Rocket Singh is going to come and like change it for me. You know, it's hmm. going to be Munna Bhai. Hmm. And exact things, exact opposite, uh, opposite things happen. Thing Wake Up Sid did recent, you know, decently uh, well. Ajab Prem was quite a great Ajab Prem was a great movie. That movie ke karan abhi tak ye bhi sala shining in the setting. Ha 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 that doesn't even make but that sense. But that was old school madcap comedy. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. really yeah. made Screwball it. comedy. Yeah. So I didn't, I didn't see that coming and Rocket Singh, like people just didn't go. You know, I think people just got fed up by seeing me in August and September, mm. August and October, mm. that they just didn't go to the theater. I mean, I meet a lot of people who like Rocket Singh, but where the f*** were these people when it released, man? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you have two questions. One, do you, is there any movie you were offered you said no to and you regretted it? B, when your friends come up with shit scripts, how do you say it's shit? See, uh, the, to answer the first question, uh, no. I mean, yeah, there are many movies that you know I regret not doing, uh, but it's unfair talking about it because then I don't want to snatch somebody else's Correct. credit Fair. because you know they are part of it. Uh, to answer your second question, I have a prototype message typed on my phone. Let's read it. Uh, I can't <laughs> because then I'll get caught. Uh, but it goes something like, uh, "Hey Tanmay, uh, 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 just finished reading the script. It's mm. unbelievable. unbelievable. <laughs> I think it's it's something which is really pushing the boundaries. Mm. Unfortunately, uh, because of my predicament." and the uh, current scenario of the time that my films are taking, mm. I don't think I'll be able to commit right now. Mm. Thank you for the offer and I look forward <laughs> to seeing it on the big screen. Mm. P.S. Or in some cases, you get Love Ranjan to call <laughs> and tell <laughs> people that you don't want to do it. We had a sketch pitch in the same reply. No, that's why I get Love Ranjan to call us. We didn't have a phone. For those who don't know, we had pitched a sketch to Ranbir, which all of you must now 
if there's any media watching this, <laughs> please ask him this during Jagga yes. Jasu's promotions. Do you want to do this video with AIB? Because he had a pitch that was good and he didn't do it. But because of his predicament, yeah. <laughs> we'd love to watch it on the small yeah. screen yes. at, some, yes. at some point. So we'd love to watch it on a phone. Oh my phone. <laughs> so that's my prototype message yeah. to everybody and anybody. Uh, tell us the worst script you've been... You can't tell the worst script. No, you can't tell the worst script. No, but I can tell you one... one uh, 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 like this, ha- this happened to me, uh, uh, you know, I had uh, these, this director duo were coming mm. to meet me mm. uh, and I was very excited, it was like probably the second year of my, were of they my my career, I'm not talking about <laughs> what they were wearing. <laughs> and, uh, Everybody was saying so I, I, I kept, you know, four hours in the afternoon, ke, you know, narration hai and you uh. know, I'm excited, you know, because they are quite mm. good directors. So they came, you know, said, how's dad, you know, uh, very good, very good, you're doing very well in your career, Chalo, let's start ordered the green teas and the coffees and mm. biscuits and all and sat for the narration. He said, so, shuru kare? I said, yeah, shuru karte. Yeah. They opened the bag, they took out two DVDs and said, yeah, first half, yeah, second <laughs> half, they ke bata dena if you want to do it or not. It was as simple, simple as, that. as that. Yeah. Really? That was the narration. But That's yeah, the weirdest thing. You appreciate of the minimalism clar- and clarity, clarity of thought. Clarity of thought, though. amazing. Yeah. Honest narration. Uh, and that film was shit. shouldn't have done that. Yeah, <laughs> 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 We're all thinking of the blues. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm like. Ah, <laughs> <"Bas>, uh, <laughs> <laughs> who else? Ah, ye, uh, I didn't know the DVD thing still happened. Yeah, yeah, it happens. I figured it's very one of those. Achha, 90s mein hota you hear one of those. See, now people hide it also to show the cinematographer. Achha, ye shot lele, jaldi, fada, fada, you know, the actors come. Out, but it happens. I've seen it around. Yeah. Who's people the director you want to work with? I want to work with? Want to work with? I'm already working with them and I want to work with them again. Like Ayan, Hirani, uh, Basu. Even though it takes a lot of time, I, I don't want to work with them because I really feel like these guys are really amazing at what they do. By the way, the, the that photos look, yeah. they look great. He gets the look really well. So one of the questions which uh, Ashish wrote this, I'm not. Thanks. He said that how to prepare for that? Kya banduk binduk chala hai? Banduk chala hai. Yeah, see the look which got leaked and all is great, you know. Uh, oh yeah, sure. It got it got leaked. Uh, uh, no, it didn't. It actually, got it leaked. Got leaked. <laughs> it, <didn't get> leaked. <laughs> it really got leaked. Uh, <laughs> the thing is that, yeah, people like the look, but which is great because, you know, it's the makeup, hair, it's the superficial part mm-hmm. of the movie, you know, mm-hmm. but that's not, that's not half the battle won because like to play that on screen is quite, uh, it's quite scary, you know, because he's mm-hmm. still so relevant in people's mind, how he talks, how he looks, mm-hmm. uh, you know, he's so controversial, he's so loved. Uh, so I'm very scared about that film, you know, it's not that I'm very arrogant or, mm-hmm. or, or, or very confident. Uh, I don't know how I've done. Are you worried it might be carry catchy? Like, are you doing the whole the so, Sanket Bosley? No, so so we consciously stayed away from that. Yeah. You know? Like, I didn't want to like make it a carry catchy performance. Mm. I'm just trying to make it a mm. very real, like how Sanjay Dutt would probably be in the 80s, 90s, and mm. 2000. Mm. Uh, and people are going to know that it's me playing him. So after the first scene, you have to forget it. You know, mm. then you have to just follow the the person the who's beat, yeah. playing the part. Itna ban phada hoga. Itna nahi, itna. <laughs> no, no, when Raju so messaged me, like, listen, hey, Ranveer, uh, I have a film to narrate to you. Uh, when can we meet? My message to him was, I hope it's not the Sanjay Dutt biopic because yeah. somewhere that news was floating. Mm. I was like, you can't make a film on Sanjay Dutt here. Not mm. somebody who's still relevant, who's still alive, who's still doing stuff. Mm. Like, but then hmm? what was it that attracted you to I mean, it, such about the story? Or the story. Yeah. So like, what was the story, man? You know, I mean, it's, it's like a science fiction movie. Yeah. How can a person have such a life? It's crazy, you know, I mean, and, and the good part is that he's not making it a propaganda film. He's very honest about his life. You know, you know, like he's done the wrong things. He's showing you that these are the wrong things I've done and I'm the product of these wrong things that I've done. Mm-hmm. And it's very inspiring, you know, to, to, to tell a story like that. Fuck, I hope Raju Rani has a Subhash Kai moment where in Sanjidat story, he comes to narrate Munna Bhai and then Munna Bhai is a thing. Well, there is something like that. There's a, really? That's, yeah, oh, man, that's but crazy. It was very weird because the first time I heard that Raju Rani is making Munna Bhai, uh, sorry, Sanjay's biopic, I was like, is it sweet or balloon? How does it sound? Like, it was very weird. Garaj is a bandhu. It was very strange, man. It's a rose, it's a bandhu. Uh, Good morning, <laughs> Dubai! <laughs> like, how do you? <laughs> wrong, bro. You guys are going to go wrong, to uh, If you like that, don't forget to check out part two of the Ranbir podcast oh. where he. Oh. You guys can wait for part two. That's. We're, we're, going, yeah. we're going there right now. Josh!